This is part two. Um, this is the story of my animal. Um, I never was a cat person, but the crazy chick I was with at the time insisted on getting some kind of pet. Uh, we got two of these animals, and the main one that looked like Sylvester from the original 20th century cartoon. And we got him just uh, an extra, uh, extra his, got his brother just an extra cat, because, um, so the main cat would be lonely, so sometimes I'd try to interact, and I'd play with that, the silly cat, you know, and, uh, the chick was like, all oh, you know, uh, like gothic and stuff like that, so she named the cats all crazy like, I don't know, Greek or Egyptian names, uh, Orion and Hades. Hades was just the extra cat, uh, and that would be the one that I would grow to love the most. Um, the, because Hades cat, for some reason, Hades cat was the smarter one, and he figured it just was very apparent, very evident that he would see that if he was more obedient or more, uh, what's that, like, sweet, sweetly forthcoming, like, you know, like, go up to you and, and let you pet him and really, wow, you know, it's so sad talking about this. God, was he so adorable? Um, you just kiss your ass more, you know. Such a sweet, cute little thing is ridiculous. And uh, little silly things, you know, like if they we didn't want them rummaging through trash, uh, Hades, which I would call Haiti Cat, he would quit right away. Um, the chick would wake up to them whining at girls outside. Uh, she would make me do something about it. Uh, I wanted to get him a girlfriend, which he eventually got plenty. Um, it's just so sad to talk about. I guess in this segment, I'll just talk about his, uh, his little childhood. Oh, that time, it was about 2006. I just began my life. I was a young man full of hopes and dreams, like the song Stranger in a Strange Land by Iron Maiden. Oh, uh, my life went through a really big drastic change and I traded a lot of comfortabilities and securities for chasing my dreams and true love and being the real me. And that saying better be love I mean, hated for what you really are, the love for what you are not, like, really came to mind <laughs> during that time. And this silly little cat, boy, was he such a little, uh, a little joy. I'll miss him so bad. I'll probably never have another pet again. It would have to be somebody else's. That's I'm just a roommate, you know, or something like that. He, this is very, I do remember this day. I can't just be silent. Ugh, wow. It's just crazy how life is, you know. As a young man, I remember those days. and uh, It's crazy when you reflect on your life and soak, soak in and, or like revel in nostalgia especially to your favorite music or music very endear to you at that time. It's amazing. And I guess uh, I'll just use this recording right now, useful, because I'm at a loss for words. I'll have to do this drunk <laughs> at home. Um... 
Wow. Uh, just say a prayer for all the desperate hearts out there. And the lonely souls. Because, wow, is it amazing how time flies. I miss you, Haiti Cat. God bless you, my baby. I think you're better off for what you were, where you were at. I loved you so much. I loved you so much, Haiti Cat. God, please uh, bless everybody out there. Bless everybody's little pets and sons and daughters with health and all that good stuff. This is Jesse, whatever the F my profile says this time, and this will be to be continued. Today is, I believe it's uh, right now, it's like witching hour of the 18th of January, 2017th, and I had to do this yesterday. Oh, can't wait to get a drink. This is, uh, I can't believe how, when I was a teenager, I never, you know, you're so cocky and shit because moments like this are so far ahead, but it's so amazing how I just knew I held that little silly creature and I knew that this day was going to come. And I thank God that he gave me 10 or 11 years that I got to hit, like hold that animal on and off and play with it and derive love from it. I got so many crazy stories. You wouldn't believe how, how silly that cat was. Yeah, he was so adorable. And the people that didn't want to take him in, I was like, you have no idea. Wow. Whenever people met him, they were like, wow, what the heck? You know, he's such a docile teddy bear. I'll miss you so bad, Haiti Cat. I loved you like a son. I just, I didn't think you were going to survive with me. I'm so sad. All I can do is chase my ambitions to occupy my mind, and hopefully I still have some youth and strength and health to do so. Oh God. Oh God, please grant us all our dreams. If we just, please don't let us get off our ass for nothing. Because I remember, I remember days it was just a waste of energy to aimlessly keep trying, just wasting resources, searching. Kind of like I heard a survival thing, a survival tip recently that a lot of people starve or usually, uh, what's it, thirst to death because they try to frantically look for resources while the sun is burning instead of risk the prowl at night, move under the cover at night, fall. Good night, everybody. Or good morning, actually.